All right, Nikki, thanks for this introduction. Uh, let's start. You, you're one of the four captains of the national team of Germany, right? How's, how's that? Yeah, so like you said, we're, we're four girls and we kind of build, we call it the leadership group. Um, and we just discuss several things. We're like the four captains of the team. Um, and most of the time, Jana is wearing the captain's um, armband on the pitch, but behind the scenes, it's the four of us. Okay. And uh, let's talk about the preparation. We're going to talk about the European Cup. Uh, you were in full preparation, uh, obviously playing Pro League. Um, it's been a strange period, uh, hockey-wise, but how is the preparation going for the team? Um, it's going pretty well. I mean, we in Germany, since we're not centralized, we kind of know, like for us, it's not really different. Um, it hasn't been really differently in, in the past years cause, or like in the past year because we just all had to work pretty hard on ourselves at home and just come to train together like a couple of times in the year and that's just how it's it's right now as well. So yeah, everybody's working hard at home and then sometimes we come together to, to play games and train a little um, and that's how it's going to go on until the summer. Yeah, exactly. And, and you, you just came back from, from two Pro League games in Argentina. Uh, you mm -hmm. get some some pretty good results there. Uh, how did that feel to be uh, to be back uh, competing at that level? Um, like the competition is always nice. The part around it right now, like the circumstances, are actually pretty tough. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, living in a bubble and yeah, flying and traveling with COVID nineteen. I have to say, I didn't really want. I didn't feel one hundred percent comfortable, but. Um, just playing hockey in the sun, competing on this level, that's always super fun. And I was happy we, we did it because I think we kind of get, have to get to know or like have to get used to those kind of travels um, since we have to travel to Tokyo eventually. Um, so, yeah, it was a nice preparation, um, nice test for the travels as well. And, yeah, the games were fun and really intense. Yeah, but they're intense. Um, let, let's talk about the, the upcoming European Cup. Um, if you look at, at, at the past, uh, you had quite some, some, some medals already uh, going, going upwards. Um, having a silver medal uh, last European Cup in Antwerp. Um, mm -hmm. I guess uh, the answer is known to, to the ambition then now. If you, if you, you had bronze, you had silver. Um, is the ambition to have a gold medal now at the European? Yeah. That's the ambition. <laughs> okay. Short and concrete. I like it. Um, <laughs> let's look at your group. Um, you have, um, I think you say, a pretty tough group uh, with, uh, with Spain, England, and Italy. Uh, first game, Belgium. That will be straight from the start of uh, an important game uh, to be ready for, right? Yeah, definitely. I think in the last couple of years, the Europeans have yeah really evolved and all the teams playing there on our side um have gotten so much stronger so that every game really is a challenge there's actually no opponent where you just get in and you feel like okay that's like a test match today or something like that so yeah everybody has pretty much improved over the last couple of years so almost every game is tough at the europeans right now exactly and and talking about improvement i think the uh, the German team has, has, has made huge steps in the last years. And um, I think the final last, last uh, yeah, actually it's two years ago, uh, the European Cup in Antwerp was, uh, was quite interesting to follow. You, um, you end up losing it against um, the Netherlands. Uh, what was the feeling after that tournament? Were you, were you satisfied with, um, with, uh, with um, the result or still uh, mostly disappointed? I think there was some satisfaction just looking back at the yeah development that we have taken that we had taken like for like one and a half years so we really made a step since the world cup and yeah we could really see it for the very first time at the europeans it was like for like 16 girls of our teams it was the first final to ever play at a senior tournament so it really was something that we haven't achieved before um so there was some satisfaction afterwards, but obviously when you lose a final, you're never really satisfied. And I think especially after that game, we know that we could have done more and it was just a really yeah, unsatisfying game. We didn't score any goals and we didn't really get into the flow that we had the couple games before. Um, so, yeah, 
mixed feelings. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> that's understandable. Um, when I asked you the first question about the ambition, you were very straight. Um, it's a gold medal. Uh, that's that's the only way up, you know. When you when you lost uh, the the final, um, you still also have a, a a team with a lot of young players. You're pretty young yourself. Do you do you feel uh, a different kind of pressure looking looking forward to this um, this edition? Um, not right now, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, no, I don't feel that much pressure. I think I'm actually really excited. I always love the Europeans and it's the last preparation before the Olympics. So um, there's just so much excitement um, that's going to build up towards in, in the tournament itself. So um, no, <laughs> I don't feel the pressure right now. Maybe it's going to come. <laughs> I bet it will come a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Um, before going to the to the to the quick question at the end, um, we always like to 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 end up with a question uh, asking asking a question to a different captain. Um, I'm gonna have a, an interview soon with um, with Georgina Oliva from Spain. Uh, so I was wondering if you if you if you have a question for her. I do. I do. I would okay. ask. Or I would want to ask Gigi. What was your most fun? after tournament party in your life <laughs> okay love that one all right it's noted down we'll uh, we'll make sure to ask you that uh, that question all right <laughs> so okay now the the final part the uh, i actually have six six uh burning questions for you you have uh, about two seconds every for every question to answer just answer on the top of your mind uh, in in one or or max two three words. You ready for it? Yeah. Okay. First one. Germany is one of the favorites for the gold medal this summer at the Euros. Yes or no? Yes. Before my twenty fifth birthday, I absolutely would like to win a gold medal. On a scale from one to ten, how nervous are you when playing an official tournament for your country? Mm, seven. If you could transfer one player from the Spanish team to your own team, who would that be? Gigi. Let's pretend you would make a fantasy dream team for the Euro. Who would be one of your strikers for sure? Charlotte Stappenhorst. Do you and think... Pia I need both. <laughs> okay. Do you think it's in your advantage to play the Netherlands? in the final with no full crowd this summer? Um, I'd be a little sad, but maybe it could be an advantage, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, uh, Nikki, for this, uh, this interview. Yeah, sure. Thank you.